We believe that if you write good code, you write good things, you, you keep improving your, your, your products, you really focus on not only making your products better, but also them specifically, and you like, I want to do something with that. First of all, for you specifically, and these are very cool tunes. They are properly baked. They are, uh, you can apply it. We don't look at your heart. We don't have heart criteria. Don't play around, cover much ground, get paid by the pound. Getting paid is a forte. It's no surprise. She got tricks in the stash. And now I would like you to introduce you to a highly useful software that I recently discovered that helps me follow my lectures. UPDF is an AI powered PDF editor to view, edit, convert, protect, sign and organize PDF. Let me show you how you can boost your productivity and take notes more efficiently. While you follow your lectures, you can highlight, underline the text, add sticky notes, stamps, stickers and other things. As you can see, I added a lot of text boxes here while I was personally following the lectures. And this is just one of the modes you have. You can also edit your PDF, redact, prepare form, organize pages and add watermark. And now it's time for fun part, UPDF's AI assistant. By using your document, AI can get the needed context so it can chat with you, chat with image or create mind map. When creating a mind map, you can choose in which language you want your mind map to be and how much branches you want. Creation of mind map is fast and flawless and helps you to summarize what you already learned. And for the last, I wanted to show you expert options that you have. Some of them are Word, PDF, Excel, XML, RTF, CSV and so on. For more, you have the link in the description as well as in the pinned comment. Also, this is my new fish, its name is Oscar. Since my MacBook was running low on memory, I bought some device the day before, so you're going to watch that unboxing. The main reason I bought HD Rack is because I have some old files on my Windows PC which I don't want to lose, also I don't need fast memory, I just need a lot of it. Here I was speaking how I need to clear up my cables to get a better cable management, which I already did by now, but uh, this was just for testing. Let me show you what I got. Let me turn off my monitor first. Okay, nice. Okay, let me turn. My mouse is off. This is connected. Okay, so now I have my SSD. Uh, this was my uh, previous uh, storage, Mac storage. Now I'm going to turn this HDD on. We format it. Uh, it starts uh, like spinning. If it doesn't show, uh, you're going to go to this utility and then try to find it here. But uh, this is just external SSD. Wait. Now it's here, uh, because in the PC I had uh, three partitions, yeah, I'm going to erase them all and uh, maybe call them HDD, HDD, format, uh, hmm. XFET, format and go to erase. And now I'm erasing uh, disk one partition, which is 1.1 terabytes. And okay, I can see up here that yeah, that's partition. I'm going to uh, also erase uh, this partition. I think I want to have only one partition. I don't know how I'm going to do that uh, without using Windows, but maybe the easiest way is just plugging my HDD back to the Windows, erasing them, that partitions, and um, I'm going to try that. So let's see. If you just thought I had clean setup, 
this is where my HD is connected and this is my old PC. Those are the cables. This is my old one terabyte uh, HD. Uh, this is two terabytes of space and I'm going to uh, repartition. I'm going to delete partitions of my HD. And I just deleted the volumes by going to right click and delete volume. And now I have 1863 gigabytes uh, unallocated memory and uh, I'm going to turn off my PC again. Uh, also, this is where my mouse is and this is where where my keyboard is uh, because I don't use uh, my uh, PC I only use uh, Mac going for shutdown and let's try again so now I have my Mac back Mac back <laughs> and I'm going to plug uh, in my HDD again oh it's hard with one hand yeah it's on I think it's on and I'm going to put this cover back on Be nice and turn it on Okay, let's put it back here and bring my Mac here. Warning came up that disk is not readable by this Mac. That's actually good because I can go to initialize and I can see that I can see anything. Whoa, whoa. Maybe, maybe it's initializing. I'll wait a bit because the HD is spinning. Actually, I didn't read. Uh, I have two external USB 3.0 media and it says two terabytes. So I'm going to uh, maybe erase volume. Okay, I can I can choose APF, APFC format. That's actually the format of macOS and I don't know if, if I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go for XFAT because I think XFAT is uh, based on uh, is, is actually readable by the windows so maybe i'll transfer some data to windows or i don't know bring my uh, bring my external storage here so i'm going to call it hdd and i'm going to format it on xfat i hope i don't make a mistake but i'm doing xfat format and erase creating hdd okay that's good and now i have hdd here to terabytes available. Damn.